Do you run a mass audit? Do you want a mass audit with us? This is a record showing 13 people when it was all said and done. What's up, everybody? Here is part one of Titusville Mass Audit. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, it was fun. 13 people showed up eventually. We all went in mass to several different buildings and... Part one might be a little long and boring, but if you double tap your screen, you can go forward five or ten seconds. It's pretty cool. You don't have to listen to stuff you don't want to listen to. But I figured I'd put the whole thing the way it is. I did fast forward a little bit, and I need to stop running in my mouth because it's only making it longer. <clears throat> Hit up my Etsy store or type in John's Coin Rings into Google, and you will see my beautiful face and my beautiful rings. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, everybody. And without further ado, here's part one of the Titusville Mass Audit. What's up, everybody? Here we are at the Titusville Extortion Center Courthouse. You got Solo Yacker and OVT across the way there. They're gonna be in full tag gear. Everything except firearms. And we're gonna go walk through this courthouse slash government complex. It should be interesting. Stand by. More government employees walking by. They're looking at these guys real close. There's the watchman. I was trying to take a nap, but that's not going to happen. I guess all these ladies are coming and going from lunch or something. It's only 10.30 though, so who knows. Nice flip-flop ship, peckerhead. Uh, there's people staring already, man. I, th I figured you were going to wait for them guys to get here before you got all geared up. Well, no, we were already wearing it. Oh. So it was just, oh, actually, we sleep and shower this way. <laughs> yeah, I bathe in my vest, and I bathe in 556. Hey, brother, how are you? Thanks for coming out. My pleasure. All right. Today, Watchman, Solo Yacker, OVT, and this man, he don't... He's like, I use my own name. Yeah. It's my name. I use it. Yes, sir. That's all you got in this world, brother, is your name. Yeah. We got 556-556-556-40 um, five, five, six, five, five, six, five, five, six, cal and the, the real stuff securely encased in our vehicle. Securely encased. You got an ETA on them other guys? Yes, they were 30 minutes, minutes out about uh, 15 minutes ago. Yeah. So we're going to stay out here till, for until they get here, right? We're going inside. I've got state attorney to get... Yeah, uh, but... Don't, we're gonna get, we're gonna but we want to all be here, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't want three of us to get booted and the other four are like, well, should we go in? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or whatever we the want, case may we be. Want eight people to get booted. Yeah, all or none. All or none. But all yeah, right. we're going to go in here. We're gonna and this is perfectly you. legal. Perfectly legal. You know people so, are going to lose their mind. Yeah. Um, the, I, I'm going to And there's the no, here, there's no guns or nothing on you. And none. The statute is under 790.06, number 12A, it, and it gives you a list of places that are off limits for firearms. There are only firearm restrictions in government buildings, like this place may have a council member or a council meeting. When those meetings are in session, no firearms. When they're not in session, you can carry a firearm in any city building except for a police department or a courthouse. Those are the two big ones, and schools, obviously, and colleges on the property. You mean concealed, right? Conce concealed or open. Yeah, but you, there's no open carry in Florida unless you're going to all, or cover from. Cover all bases right now. Cover right. all bases. No open carry, no concealed carry. While there's a government meeting, police station, courthouse, school, How you college, doing, guys? Any of that. Do we have to wear masks? Uh, we, I don't know. Well, I don't like masks. Yeah, yeah, me neither. They're not, they're not healthy. Just, you Masks stick it in your healthy. pocket. If they say you need it, then use it. But if they don't, from that. they didn't tell me anything when I went in there, and I, I went in. Yeah. That's, a, that's a bull. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's it's okay. well, I'm a very healthy person, and never such thing. They're all doctors now. Only six percent of two hundred thousand actually died. A lot died. of people stick around. I mean, they need to get it. Yeah, well, well, we're here to we're here as activists too, so. We're, we're gonna we're we're holding the government accountable. That's what we're here for. These are not cops. These are just regular we're guys. Just regular people, just like you. No law enforcement needed. 
Did they say you got to wear a mask? You haven't been inside yet? No, we haven't. They didn't tell me that. I went in there and took some pictures a little while ago, and I didn't have a mask on. Yeah, I just keep it in my pocket, and if they cause a fuss, you know. Yeah, bust it out. You play it by ear. I got a 20 volt 4.0 amp hour battery, you know, quarter cable battery. I'm going to carry my car battery with me. Car battery. These things burn up batteries. I'm going to drive a Tesla around inside this courthouse. Melt them down. James Madison, shout out. Where's he at? He's coming back from Carolina today. Oh, he's out of state. Yeah, I called him the other day. Him and Rogue were. So we got seven at least, right? Right now. And we got we got at least three or four more coming. And two more. Yeah. Right. Look at us, man. We're already you coming here. with us. Of course. All right. <laughs> we're, we're Are you here right. for us? Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Good job. woman I think all right it looks like we got contact already we haven't even done anything yet haven't even done anything yet she can jump right in the garbage truck where she belongs I think they're coming for us right yeah, yeah. Yeah. nobody's got a scanner so I don't know what are scanners legal in Florida? Huh? Scanners legal? Yeah. yeah. As as they Eyes can, on the states calling. Can. Not not a good time. They can't talk on their uh, on their frequencies. Good morning, officer. What's up? Hello. How are you? Hi, what's up? What's going on? Know, we're just what hanging out, chilling. What are you doing? I'm here because you waved me down. No, you, you would go by dead. and stare at us, so I just waved at you and said hi. Hi. Well, hi. How you doing? What's hi. your name? Santiago, Officer Santiago. Oh, perfect. And what was that uh, badge number? 129. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank I appreciate you. that. What's your name? Solo Yacker. What is it? Solo Yacker. Okay. All right. What are you guys doing out here? We're just hanging out. About to go see the um, commissioner's office here. We got some... Um, Another one behind you. We've got some records requests and stuff like that to do. Okay. Um, What's up, man? Man, you're kind of sneaky, huh? What was your name? And another one. Well, I'm asking now. Oh, you're asking my name is Sergeant Amos. Sergeant Amos? And uh, badge number? 113. 113 Amos. Thank you, bud. Well, we haven't even got inside yet, and we got two cops already. What's the matter? What's wrong? We got two more over there. All right. Tell We're just peacefully assembling. Good? Okay. Yeah. All right, perfect. All right. We're good. We're good. Cool. All right, guys. Have a See you later. Have a good one. Appreciate it. Yeah, what you doing over there? Keeping up on behind it. <laughs> Walking back. You can always announce yourself before you sneak up. None of us are armed, by the way. You don't have to walk backwards. It hey, always helps to announce yourself. What's your name and badge because, number, Because, you know, sir? I might, your name I might, be, I might be a little jumpy and I might have to defend myself. Hey, I'm Sergeant, defending. what's your name and badge number, sir? I've already given that, sir. Uh, I didn't get it. Sergeant Amos, 113. Thank you very much. He doesn't know us. Oh, wait, I, 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 well, the first, the, the first uh, contact went decent. Didn't take long. Attractive lady. This is basically City Hall, right? Mm. I don't know. I'm not familiar with this building. I just call these extortion centers. No. Well, I call it the Bethard County. 
Tommy Center, but that's same on, thing. That's on my same thing. Yes, uh, I worked on the facility down the street here several years ago. Why didn't you offer and supplies what they have down there? <laughs> that's always good, Dave. So now the cops are down there talking to each other. I think it's time to make a walk, guys. Let's look. Hey, let's take a walk while we're waiting. Okay, I want, they're sitting there talking to each other, probably about us. Let's go. I didn't crosswalk anywhere near, so. Why did you walk in the roadway? Hey, just straight across, everybody. The sergeant asked me what we were doing. I told him we were peacefully assembling. They're almost here. Oh, look, now they're moving. Cameras make police scattered. Watchman telling them not to stop on the road. They can already smell Rob. Xylophone, Fox Shot, eight one two five. Hi. How you doing? Two militia members here. And we're headed inside now. A parade of patriots. Hammered. We the people. We the we the people. Yeah, we educate the people. We've got new Smyrna Times here hanging out. New Smyrna so Times. We're about to go in here. We're going to go. Um, we're going to do some record requests, and we're going to try to get uh, the mayor to come out to talk about some issues that uh, there's three, six, are, uh, nine, right. twelve of us. Not only mine, but OBT as well. They have violated our rights, and we will not. So these two gentlemen were trespassed from a park even though they weren't breaking any laws. You're allowed to open carry while fishing, hunting, or camping or going to and from in Florida, 790.25. So they're going in the extortion center today, all 12 of us are, to see, to see how they act when... Man, I'm sweating already. I was peeing in the backyard yesterday and I saw a plane and I looked up at it. I looked up at it and I said, America. B2. That's, that's not a joke. It wasn't a B2. No, it was just a commercial airliner. <laughs> What's up? Happy belated. Nice fun seeing personalized. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Rob is just wandering around. We're going to be going to get some of uh, the investigation. So we're probably going to go up to the fourth floor, and then we're probably going to go somewhere in the second floor to look for the um, mayor. We need to find the mayor today. Hopefully. We're going to try to find the mayor in person? Yeah. I'm going to try. Okay. We got 11 of us. I'm, hey, I'm here for the duration. Okay. Or the state attorney's gonna um, have some information that we need, and as well as um, the mayor. 
because the mayor is in, can basically controls what the, the police do, kind of. And uh, the police are what floor corrupt. Are we We're going to the fourth floor, so if we can split up and hop yeah. in a different elevator. Oh, that's a coffee shop? So there's no guards or gates or metal floor, detectors? Or floor, floor, floor. Is that before the third or after? Um, somewhere between the fifth and the third. Right. Your screen's about in this elevator. I already killed it. Oh, okay. <laughs> there's no... Yeah. There's no uh, security to come in, huh? I thought that's that. where we get the most flag. I, thought, I was expecting at least metal detectors. I was like, we're probably going to have to take our vests off. <laughs> I was going to take my junk ring off and everything. <laughs> Tap it against the conveyor belt. Well, look at reflection. Thank you. Good. Thank you, man. Thank Thanks, you. you. Thank you. Ooh, Ooh easy. <laughs> she looked. <laughs> she knows. She knows what's up. <laughs> Where are we? We are at the state attorney. We right down this thing. We got to maintain six feet. State attorney? Yes, sir. Because they're, um, for, I'm going to beat them down about this, uh, the body cams, because they still won't release them at the PD. And uh, I've got the money to get my body cams, but they don't want to release them. What excuse are they giving you for not releasing the body cams? Uh, the PD say it's still under investigation, but I beg to differ. 18th Judicial Circuit. These look like some power hungry people. So this is the state's attorney's office. Hi. How are you? Um, from America. I'm from America. How are you doing? <laughs> but we're here to do a records request. Okay. <laughs> Just hold on. Hold on. I gotta figure out where all of you were from. I need a DNA test. Hey, OBT. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> if I don't know where you from, I can't do my work. <laughs> I wish someone said from my dad's penis. <laughs> my mom's a <vagina. laughs> You see, what happened was my parents were drunk one night. Hey, you guys, you're with me right In now. East Cleveland. What's up, man? How you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, I'm living the dream, bro. I need to do a records request. Okay. Um, I'm here to try to figure out the investigation, and I can give you a case number so you can look that up as well. How's it going, bud? How are you? Good, man. Uh, it, it's, uh, I can give you the number. I don't know if it's, it came from Titusville PD. Um, I've been calling here for almost three and a half months about trying to get the, why it's been under investigation. Um, as of September 14th, it is no longer under investigation. I've called the Titusville PD. They say it's still under investigation. So now I'm here to get paperwork from you because my next is, is going to be getting those body cams because I, I want them. Ready? It's 2020, three zeros, four one, two four eight. You have that memorized? <laughs> That's how many times Three and a half call. months of it, in. Come here, buddy. And then the person that you're uh, looking at on the case or whatever is this gentleman right here. Are 
Are you one of you guys like maybe an attorney or anything? Jack attacks. Perfect. I'll, I'll talk to you after this one about one issue. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, As of September 14th. Correct. Um, I'm just gonna, I'll stop you right there, just give me two seconds to open my email. Because I actually got an email of, of this that came from the state attorneys, and it's the lady that does the records here. Yeah, she's down in our bureau office. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I, I spoke to her, and that's why, that's why I'm here. Um, Crystal Martin. And then, that's the attachment that was sent. I, I have this. I'm looking, I know that, and, and there should be something about the, correct, yep, and that's why, like I said, at this point, if there's a closed case, it's closed, it's done, there's no, this has been an ongoing thing for three and a half months, I've called here every day for almost three and a half, not every day, every week for three and a half months. You know, and the issue is, is that not only is your police chief in violation of Florida Statute 790.33, which is the preemption law, right. It, right? And then the city managers, and as well as, I don't know about you, but I know the city manager, chief of police, and ev every officer in both cases, we've both been trespassed because of a firearm on a county park. That's a $5,000 per person, per person. So that's the chief, city manager, every single officer and right now the reason i'm here is because it seems like somebody's hiding something okay, well what, what do you want me to do for you like, can you call can you call titusville pd and tell them that the records can be released today because i have the money to i have the money i've already been given an invoice for the body cams back in june okay. and when i went to pick them up on july 3rd uh they were closed for the holiday weekend i called them on the 6th and they said it was under investigation. So That's they, Titusville Police Department has access to our case tracking system. Mm -hmm. They can see that the case has been dropped now. So because it's been dropped, they shouldn't. You should I called them yesterday about this. Yeah, they said that you need to send it over. It was either you or, and then I asked them if I was like, if I bring in the paper that was sent to me by the state attorney, is that going to be sufficient enough to release the records? And they were like, we've never dealt with that before. So that's where we're at. I've been, it's been three months, man. I've been, I, I couldn't. Did you call them yesterday? Yes. Okay. And I called the chief of police because right now, me and him both have a trespass My on a cap. And, and his girl, she wasn't carrying a firearm and she was trespassed just for being with him. His brother in law was trespassed just for being with him with no firearms. And, you know, once again. I remember. I, I, I'm, you, I'm sure you heard about it, right? Yeah, yeah, and and like I say, we're here. We're just here to get this stuff. You know, we want we want transparency just as much as you want transparency, and more. And and First Amendment. And all that stuff. Like, yeah, I understand what you're trying to do, but I mean, you can understand. That understand what? That was listen. I, listen, I told them that the law is you're allowed to open carry when you're yeah. fishing. That's the law. Okay. Um, so what's it, the problem then? No, what I would say is then then you know that whether it be the chief, I know that. I know, I know you do, I but there is that. nothing stopping you from putting that police chief in cuffs for violating a state statute. I know there's no under that statute seven ninety thirty three. There is no there is no penalty. But I don't I don't have any arrest powers. I don't have any of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. call the sheriff. So, <laughs> so listen, you guys are going to keep doing what you're doing, and I get it. We're just trying to expedite this is the best way we can. And once again, you know, we've got a bunch of people in here. We're all here. Yeah, yeah, this isn't, on Facebook, it's going to, it's going to be, it's going to be all over. And, yeah. you know, this has been documented and we're just trying to, we're trying to get what we're deserved because this gentleman, he's had AR 15s pointed at him. Me, I've had the chief, chief of police that didn't understand the law. So maybe he shouldn't be the chief were of police. Here or you were down in Melbourne? Same, same spot. I was at, I, I've been to Melbourne Beach as well, yeah. and we had three people that day. And but he was by himself with his girl. I was by myself, and they the police chief. That's the issue. Is the chief of police 
doesn't even have a basic comprehension of preemption or the law. Or he just doesn't care. Like, he didn't care. Yeah, I've got, FWC said, that's typical of America. Yeah, no, they know. They yeah, FWC said he was good. Yeah, but they were like, oh, we're trespassing him anyway. Yeah, we're going to do it anyway. So the only thing the FWC is going to say is, do you have any illegal fish and do you have your fishing license if you're supposed to have one? Yeah, and they did their job. They checked for fish and all that stuff. So why can't the regular department do their job properly according to the law? I, we understand, sir, but there's a nationwide thing going on with the police, and a lot of us have been doing it well before it was cool. You said that we have to understand something. I, I, I want you to finish your statement. Yeah, I want to hear that, what, too. What were we supposed to understand? The officer's feelings of why he violated somebody's rights and violated the law? Because that's what I get from what let you him, about Let him say. explain. Good. You're good. Why can't you educate them? I mean, why wouldn't they? Ed why wouldn't somebody educate that person on the Constitution? I mean, well, I well, that's what you guys should be doing, and that's what that's what the police should be doing every day, but they don't. That's I mean, what we're doing. Oh, nobody's mad. Nobody's mad, man. Oh. It seems like. Well, you, you're the feelings police because you're the one that was going to say a statement, and then you saw that it was going to sound really stupid, and I think you cut it off. And that's why I asked you to finish your statement. Uh, that's good. Well, so then why don't you do your job and, and help and help these grown men when they come and want records, so people don't have to come and make sure that you know you guys don't act full. I'm not upset. Well, you have a good day, man. You do your job. You already answered my question. Hold others accountable, then you're failing you the people that employ you, which is us. He's been asking for three and a half months, right? So I'm assuming he wants them. Okay. No, we don't want requests. We want action. We don't want requests. We don't want favors. We want the records are supposed to be out in 10 days. It's been 90 days. So you're 80 days late. So we just want those. No, we'd like to inspect them right now. Yeah, we want to inspect them. Right? We want you to do everything in your power to get him those records. We don't care the logistics of it. And the specific records that he's request, where go? Solo body cams. Body. It's specifically. I have the CAD report. I have the police report. I have the nine one one call. The body cams. Have you already put in a specific request? Yeah, back in June. Back in June. Okay, so they know exactly what you're looking for. Right. And you do too, and chapter 119 yes. allows them to get it. Yeah, they absolutely know who I am. They know about me trying to get this. It's been three months, three and a half months. Do you think they know who I am? Highs on the state. And they know they, and they, we, we John know. Hammered. And then once again, Jack Attack. Is it Jack Attacks or Jack Attack? Jack Attack. Jack Attack Audis. She just changed his name. I guess you don't like Tom Brady. This beautiful woman's here with us. I don't know her name. Kathy. Kathy, hi. Her channel is Kathy is Awesome. Ebor City Rob, Orlando's Voice Transparency, Solo Solo Yak, New Smyrna, New Smyrna Times right here. What's your channel? New Smyrna Times. I'm sorry. Too much money to sit there. We the people, the Watchmen. Like, I forgot already. When the police chief says that, I mean, you Gary have to Pixel. admit, I mean, even Gary Pixel. Sergeants, That's your channel name. Pixler, basic yep. understanding of it. Pixler, P I X L E R. P I X L E Y. P I X L E Y. Come back. It's because then they're going to be doing a bigger investigation. I'm trying to prevent that. Perfect, man. Um, yeah, make the, uh, and just uh, I'll go ahead and make another records request. I want all information, emails pertaining to that case, all emails and any information about this case for on the investigation side from your office. Because I'm going to go to them as well and get that same investigation information. Okay, so call, get in contact. Yeah, I've got. I'll get in. I'll get in contact with her. Uh, yeah, uh, she'll, she'll, she knows who I am. The state's attorney's office to mission is to pursue vigorous and fair prosecution of criminal cases with commitment to serve as an advocate for the rights have, of all victims no and clue. promote We've the safety and well-being of the we're public. We're still going to go see the mayor. Um, I've got to try to talk to her because her chief police chief, once again, is is in violation. And, you know, we look at him as to be a supporter and train all his other people in from what 
he was teaching all his people was that it's okay to this is the busiest this office has been in months you know yeah i know i know i know i'm not I'm, we're we're gonna go see no you're not I'm, hey we're cool man i just we're just trying to get answers and we're trying to get we're just trying to expedite this you know i've, I've been holding on to 40 something it's 38 and change but i've been holding on to 40 dollars for three and a half months to get that how many cigarettes that is yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 that's Volusia. Just south of Daytona. Yeah. Volusia, south right? Pontin, like, correct. Yep, yep. Thanks for coming, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank all y'all for doing We got to do it today. Rob, you didn't take your alpha blockers today, bro? <laughs> yeah, I stopped in ground for where you guys are uh, growing up. Where? Uh, it's all in the Ebor City area, Tampa. Oh, I'm from, from I'm from Ohio originally. I don't know why. This is, he grew up in the Ebor. Well, no, you're in the Park. Yeah, Lando Lakes, yeah. It, it's kind of amazing when you get a bunch of people in here. Like, they don't act up. Yeah, like, oh. I, like all by myself. I guess they're serious this by time. Yourself, you get more reactions, but this yeah. gets answers. Yeah. This gets answers. Yes. This gets answers. I usually go subscribe back. Yeah. I want to see more content. All right, everybody. There's part one. I hope you liked it. Stay tuned for more. It was kind of long and boring, but I don't want to make it into 50 parts like I did the other audit. So hit up my coin ring store, John's Coin Rings on Google, or hit the description. And subscribe to all these wonderful people.